Hey coaches, it's James, Domestic Development Director at Volleyball Canada, and this little video tutorial here is all about uh, helping coaches film themselves for their evaluation. Um, it's a neat little setup that we've got here. We're not expecting um, Disney Pixar productions. We just want to make sure that uh, you, can you can film your practices, uh, submit it to your evaluator, and we can hear everything that you say, and uh, make it the process as easy as possible. Um, so what we have here are, are three key pieces that you're going to need for uh, doing your filming and one of them is your, your earpiece, your headpiece. This is called uh, Jabra, it's about 70 bucks and uh, it's, a, it's a good microphone and the key piece here is uh, it's the audio. It, it allows you to walk all around the gym and uh, film yourself and still pick up the audio because without this you really can't hear it. So that's a key piece. <clears throat> this one here is just some sort of an adapter for either your iPad or, or your, um, your tablet or even a phone uh, can work as well. So what I'm going to do now is just um, set up the iPad onto the tripod. Don't drop it, whatever you do. And I'm going to show you how to make the link between the earpiece and the iPad. So the first thing you'll do is go into the settings area and you'll go to Bluetooth. And you'll notice here, it's already got the Jabra style version 1.3 already set up, but all you would do is turn this on and then it'll automatically connect. So you're gonna put the earpiece on. And then the next piece that you have to do ahead of time is uh, download the Captures app. Uh, so this is a neat little app and all it does is it syncs the video and the audio together so that you can film simultaneously and so you don't have to edit anything afterwards. So you click on your Captures app and you hit the record button and then you would film yourself uh, running your practice. And uh, what you're also gonna need during this time is, is likely a volunteer to follow you around uh, during the practice, but make sure that um, you're not, uh, the, the volunteer isn't moving the camera all the time. You just wanna be stable uh, most of the time. So after uh, you've done filming, you're going to press the stop button and then you're going to hit this little red button here and then it's going to process. And for say a 12 minute video, it might take a little while for it to process, but for, for this, it's, uh, it's already ready. And so you're going to go into your photos area in your iPad and then there it is, it appears and you're going to want to share it. So you go to YouTube and then you're going to write in the title of the, the practice, and I'll just write practice. And then you're going to want to make it private. And then you're going to want to publish it. And that's it. Uh, so once you've, uh, you've made um, your video on YouTube, you can go tell a friend and uh, you can share that information with the evaluator. And because it's private, it's only between you and the evaluator. Um, so that's essentially it. Uh, it's a very quick and easy way of, of filming yourself and submitting it to the evaluator. Hopefully this has been helpful uh, for you. If um, you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to email uh, Volleyball Canada. Thanks for listening and talk to you soon.